hello everybody. I am preparing a beautiful violin for uh, dispatch and it is an Eastman violin model 80. They look simple, you know, there's no maple flame here at the back or anything fancy, but the workmanship is really precise and the sound quality is just amazing for the price. So I consider this violin personally the best sounding violin for under 500 Australian dollars. When it comes to us here at Animato we do a few improvements. I have to say though that uh, the materials that come with the violin are uh, very good. For example, this bridge is a very high-class French bridge made by Despieu. There's not any other violin coming from China that is fitted by the people uh, before they uh, dispatch it with an authentic French Despieu bridge. It hasn't got any stars, but even the Despieu bridge without stars is a very good quality bridge. It also has carbon fiber uh, tail pieces here that are scraped, it's not aluminium. And uh, the workmanship is great, the way that it is set up. For example, the spacing here in uh, the nut is already perfect, we don't need to do much there. The pegs are beautifully you know, finished here at the end. Uh, we add a bit of peg paste, otherwise it's a little dry. And the strings that it comes with are prelude strings from the Dario. They are their uh, basic strings, but they, are, they sound really fine on this violin. Let's see here, this is the prelude set of strings. The big improvement that we do here at Animato, apart from uh, doing a slight optimization of the curve of the bridge and the lubrication of the pegs, is the sound post. The sound post that comes with it is fine. To extract the best sound out of this violin, we actually exchange this sound post, the original one, with a European sound post and put it into the best spot so that the sound is as good as it can possibly be. Now here's the result. I play on this violin now just uh, a few notes by the way, it comes uh, currently with a fiberglass bow. It looks a bit like carbon fiber. It's very black, uh, but it's uh, fiberglass. And I believe that may be revised perhaps later on. Uh, I give the customer the option to either go with the fiberglass bow or uh, we put one of our timber bows with it. Now, first I play this violin on this um, with this fiberglass bow and then I'll do uh, a similar melody with the timber bow and you can perhaps hear a slight difference. I play a similar line of notes with the timber bow so I like this better. It has a little bit more clarity and perhaps a bit more nobility. The, dis uh, the distance between the two uh, quality is it's not huge but I can certainly appreciate the timber bow in combination with this violin. So it's up to the customer to click on the option to have that fiberglass bow replaced with a timber bow. And we throw in the German sound post which would normally uh, cost a fair bit of money if uh, we had to fit one on a violin that uh, is brought to us for sound improvement. I think this case is absolutely gorgeous. It is a shaped case, so it is very easy to take it in the overhead locker when you go by 
plane. But the, the fantastic thing is that it is actually a plywood case, an old-fashioned type of uh, plywood. It's not this uh, polystyrene that falls to pieces after a short while. So it's very protective, a little bit of padding you can feel, so there's a bit of foam underneath between the canvas and uh, the ply. It's a wonderful case and that's part of the deal. It comes with every uh, one of these violins. It's amazing value and because of this great sound you can go with it very far in your musical career. Again, it, it looks very plain, but if you look at the workmanship, very precise. Thank you.